Hello everyone and welcome back to Zen Health. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that might just be the key to unlocking your full potential, vitamin D. But here's the kicker, my friends, we're not just talking about your average vitamin. Nope, we're delving into the secrets of the sunshine vitamin and the astonishing benefits it can bring to your life. Have you ever wondered why catching those rays feels so darn good? Or why ancient civilizations revered the sun as a source of health and vitality? Well, my curious comrades, that's precisely what we're about to uncover today. But here's the kicker. Vitamin D isn't just about getting that coveted golden tan. It's about unlocking a world of wellness from bone strength to mood elevation and even a stronger immune system. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll be basking in the brilliance of vitamin D like never before. So my friends, whether you're an outdoorsy explorer, a sun-soaked beach bum, or even a cozy homebody, this video is your ticket to understanding the incredible benefits of vitamin D. Get ready to shine brighter than the sun itself, because we're about to embark on an enlightening journey into the world of vitamin D. To start, vitamin D is both a vitamin that we consume in food and a hormone that our body can make. The body can synthesize vitamin D when the skin is exposed to ultraviolet B, UVB, radiation from the sun. Three different conversions occur in the skin, in the kidney, and then the liver, and the final product is calcitriol. This is the active form of vitamin D that the body uses for various processes. The relationship between calcium and vitamin D is tightly intertwined and plays a critical role in maintaining overall health, particularly when it comes to bone health. Calcium is a mineral that constitutes a significant portion of our bones and teeth, providing structural support and strength. Vitamin D, on the other hand, is essential for the body's ability to absorb calcium efficiently. When we are exposed to sunlight, our skin synthesizes vitamin D, and this activated form of vitamin D helps the intestines absorb calcium from the food we consume. This process ensures that the body has an adequate supply of calcium to build and maintain strong bones and teeth. Furthermore, vitamin D helps regulate the levels of calcium in the blood. If there is insufficient calcium intake or impaired absorption, the body can draw on its calcium stores within the bones, potentially leading to weakened bones and an increased risk of fractures and osteoporosis. Thus, the synergy between calcium and vitamin D is crucial not only for skeletal health, but also for muscle function, immune system support, and various other physiological processes. These findings are supported by numerous studies and medical sources, including the National Institutes of Health, NIH, and the World Health Organization, WHO, which emphasize the interdependence of calcium and vitamin D in maintaining bone health and overall well-being. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in supporting the immune system by enhancing its innate and adaptive functions. It helps regulate immune responses by influencing various immune cells. Research has shown that vitamin D can modulate the production of antimicrobial peptides such as cathelicidin and defensins, which play a key role in defending the body against infections. Additionally, vitamin D promotes the maturation and activation of immune cells like T-cells and macrophages, which are essential for recognizing and destroying pathogens. Several studies, including a review published in the journal Frontiers in Immunology in 2020, by et al., have highlighted the immunomodulatory effects of vitamin D and its potential in reducing the risk of respiratory infections and autoimmune diseases. However, it's important to maintain adequate vitamin D levels through sunlight, diet, or supplements, as deficiency can weaken immune responses and compromise overall immune function. Vitamin D has been associated with numerous benefits for mental health. Adequate levels of vitamin D are thought to contribute to improved mood and reduced risk of depression. Research has suggested that vitamin D receptors are present in areas of the brain responsible for mood regulation, and it may play a role in the synthesis of neurotransmitters like serotonin, which are linked to feelings of well-being. A systematic review and meta-analysis published in JMA Psychiatry in 2014, spedding 2014, found a significant association between low vitamin D levels and depression. Furthermore, some studies have explored the potential link between vitamin D deficiency and conditions like seasonal affective disorder, said. While more research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms at play, maintaining adequate vitamin D levels may contribute to better mental health and emotional well-being. Vitamin D has garnered significant attention for its potential role in cancer prevention. Numerous studies have explored the relationship between vitamin D levels and various types of cancer, including breast, prostate, and colon cancer. Vitamin D is thought to exert its protective effects through several mechanisms. Firstly, it plays a role in regulating cell growth and differentiation, which can help prevent the uncontrolled cell division that characterizes cancer. Additionally, vitamin D is involved in the regulation of the immune system, which can enhance the body's ability to recognize and eliminate cancer cells. Research published in the Journal of Steroid Biochemistry and Molecular Biology in 2018, Feldman et al., highlights the anti-cancer properties of vitamin D, 
including its potential to inhibit the growth of cancer cells and promote their apoptosis, which is known as programmed cell death. While more research is needed to establish definitive causation maintaining optimal vitamin D levels through sunlight exposure, dietary sources, or supplements may be a valuable component of a comprehensive approach to cancer prevention. It's important to note that while vitamin D shows promise in reducing the risk of certain cancers, it should not be considered a standalone or guaranteed preventive measure. Cancer risk is influenced by a complex interplay of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. Therefore, a holistic approach to cancer prevention, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, and other recommended screenings and interventions, is essential. Vitamin D plays a significant role in improving muscle strength. It does so by influencing muscle function and the body's overall musculoskeletal health. Vitamin D receptors are present in muscle tissues, and this vitamin is involved in the development and maintenance of muscle fibers. Adequate vitamin D levels help promote muscle protein synthesis and reduce muscle protein breakdown, leading to improved muscle performance and strength. Research has shown that individuals with low vitamin D levels may experience muscle weakness and a higher risk of falls and fractures, particularly among older adults. Vitamin D has been associated with a potential protective effect against several autoimmune conditions. Some of the autoimmune diseases that research has suggested may be influenced by vitamin D levels include multiple sclerosis, MS. There is evidence to suggest that higher vitamin D levels are associated with a reduced risk of developing multiple sclerosis. Studies have shown a link between low vitamin D levels and an increased risk of MS, especially in individuals with a genetic predisposition to the disease. Rheumatoid arthritis, RA. Vitamin D may play a role in reducing the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune condition that affects the joints. Some studies have found that individuals with higher vitamin D levels have a lower risk of RA. Type 1 Diabetes Research has indicated that vitamin D may help reduce the risk of developing type 1 diabetes, an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. Adequate vitamin D levels in early life have been associated with a lower risk of developing type 1 diabetes. Inflammatory Bowel Disease IBD. Vitamin D may have a protective effect against inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Some studies have suggested that vitamin D supplementation may help reduce the severity of symptoms and inflammation in individuals with IBD. Systemic Lupus Erythematosus SLE. While the relationship between vitamin D and lupus is complex and not fully understood, research has shown that vitamin D deficiency is common in individuals with systemic lupus erythematosus. Some studies suggest that maintaining adequate vitamin D levels may help manage symptoms and reduce the risk of certain complications. So the next question is how much vitamin D should I be taking and what type of vitamin D should I take? The daily recommended intake for vitamin D is 600 units per day or 15 micrograms. Most milk made in the U.S. is now fortified with vitamin D at 3 mg per serving of 8 ounces. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, and trout are some of the best natural sources of vitamin D foods like beef liver, egg yolks, and cheese also contain vitamin D. For supplementation of vitamin D, there are two options, D2 and D3, the best option being D3. This form of the vitamin is more active than D2, and thus tends to be more effective in correcting a vitamin deficiency. If you are low in vitamin D, then it is safe to take up to 5,000 units a day or even 10,000 units per day if your vitamin D is very low. It is also recommended to take your vitamin D3 with K2. K2 helps to ensure that the calcium transported to the bone by vitamin D is used by the bone and not deposited into the circulatory system. To summarize, vitamin D is very important for many processes throughout the body. Vitamin D is extremely important for bone health and the prevention of fractures. It supports our immune system and helps our bodies fight off infections. It has been shown to help with our mental health and improve our mood. Vitamin D also plays a role in cancer prevention and possibly the prevention of autoimmune diseases. It can even make our muscles stronger. So if you haven't had your vitamin D level checked in a while, it would be a good idea to have a blood test done to make sure your levels are normal. If it is low, now you know how to fix it. We hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something new about vitamin D. Here at Zen Health, we are all about helping you find your Zen. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all things health related. Thanks again and see you next video.